The requirement is we have a database not twin and two tables, categories and products. We would like to establish the relationship between the categories table and products and let's try to design a master detail application such that whenever the user navigates on the categories table, the relevant products details we would like to display. I already added a Windows form. Now let us try to place two quick view controls on the form. One to project the data of the categories, the other to project the data of products based on the category. Now let us try to start the coding. First, let us try to define the variables which are required. Once we define the variables, now let us try to create the objects at the form level. Now, let us try to understand the code. We define a connection object to the Northwind database. Since we wanted to interact with two tables, I defined two data adapters, one to interact with the categories table, the other one to get the data from the products. We defined the dataset object and we filled the dataset with the data present in categories and products table. We added a primary key constraint on the category ID column of the categories table present within the data set. We establish the relationship between the categories and the products table considering categories as the parent and products as the child. We assign the categories table as a source of data for the grid view control. Load child data will be a user defined method which accepts the row index of the parent and projects the relevant products on the grid view control. Now, let us try to write the definition for load child data. Now, let us try to understand this. Code. We are trying to retrieve the parent row based on the row index of the data table. We are trying to retrieve the parent row based on the row index of the categories. Based on the parent row, whatever the child rows present in the products table with the support of relationship, we are trying to retrieve and we are assigning to the child rows. We define a child table by cloning the structure of products table present within the data set. Clone is a method which is used to copy the structure from one data table. We define a for each loop to iterate for each and every child row present within the relation and we imported the row to the child table. Once the child table is completely prepared, we are assigning the child table as a source of data to the with view control. Since our requirement is not only at the time of form load, you would like to display the child data whenever the user is going to select any category on the parent grid you would like to show the relevant products at the child grid so let's try to write the definition for that in order to do that we have to write the definition at the selection changed event within the selection changed event of the grid view let's try to invoke load child data by passing the grid views current row index. Now let us try to execute the form. We can just observe it. Now when the user navigates according to the categories the user is selecting, we can observe the relevant products are displayed on the other grid.